Hi, I'm Heaton Sturm. I go to Clark County High School in Cahokia, Missouri, and I'm doing a podcast channel for my radio and television class. This episode is this is episode two of Dope or Nope. I will be rating vehicles, and if I like them, I will say dope, and if I don't, I'll say nope. On this podcast, I will talk about the Volkswagen Jetta, Diesel, Nissan 350Z, Nissan GTR 350, Chevy Duramax LPZ, the Ford Power Stroke 67, Ford Mustang. Chevy Corvette, Dodge Viper, Dodge Challenger, and the Ford th- GT. Okay, let's get started on the Volkswagen Jetta. Like, I actually really want one of these cars. I, if I were to get one, I'd get the diesel with the five speed and put a hood stack on it and just clap it out. Uh, these cars. We used to have one, and that thing was indestructible. It was pretty much like a tank. You could do anything with it and take it anywhere, and it gets really good gas mileage. Um, if I were to get one, I'd probably get a 2009, just because I think they look better than the O2s or O4s. Uh, the hardest thing to be about it would be to delete it, but most people... Older people that have one probably wouldn't tune or delete it, but y'all know how it, us teenagers are. We want to roll coal. I think we're cool. Okay, <clears throat> let's get started on the Nissan 350Z. This car, I mean, I like it, but I don't at the same time. I think it's like almost too round, like everything is round on it. Fenders around, the whole car is shaped like an oval, kind of. But, I mean, these stock, these cars look like trash. But if you do a bunch of mods on them, make it like a... I think the wide bodies look pretty good, but I wouldn't put a big old G-T-Wing on it. Because those are just retarded. I'd put... I'd probably put a little wing on it, make it a wide body, aftermarket bumper and everything. Exhaust, engine mods, just... Make it fast and look decent. Okay, I'd, I'd got to go with dope on this one. Okay, let's get with the Nissan GTR. Okay, I honestly love this car. This is my dream car. Uh, it's got to be a Skyline GTR, though. I mean, you can wide body these and they really don't look bad. I kind of like them. But I like the the 2022s honestly look pretty sweet. I mean, interior and outside of the car, everything is nice on this thing. Uh, um, the only thing I don't like about them is the small round tail lights. But I you can always get by with it. There's always something. Something about a car you're not going to like. You're not going to like everything about a vehicle. So, I'd rate this a dope. Okay, let's get on the Chevy Duramax LBZ. Honestly, if you get one of these in a cat eye, you're going to be, yeah, pulling a lot of ladies. Um, Okay, the LBZ, I think it's... One of the better motor Chevys to make. And these cat eyes, they're just beautiful trucks. You, I honestly like the cat eyes better than any other trucks that they make. The, I think it, yeah, everybody wants a cat eye that rolls coal. And the LBZs are fast. I mean, I'm not saying they're full of power, but. If you're wanting a fast truck to look nice, I get a I get a Duramax LBC, and then I'd probably lift it, and put offsets on it, new paint job. What I'd do is like a candy red with chrome wheels, but that's just me. But this is a dope, of course. Okay, let's get on the Ford Power Stroke Six Seven. I'm not a fan of Fords, but the Power Stroke is 
the 6.7 is probably my favorite motor that the Ford makes, besides the 7.3, but everybody likes the 7.3. Um, the only thing I don't like about the Power Strokes is it's a Ford. I mean, I just grew up in a Chevy and GMC family, so I'm not really a fan of Fords because I grew up around Chevys and GMCs my whole life. I have a GMC myself. But, I mean, the older, I think the older 6.7s look better. Like the 2011 through the 16s look better. I don't really like the front ends on these newer ones. And I think the bodies are too plain. There's not many, uh, like, what do you want to call it? Lines in the body to make it look decent. It's just got a line going down in the bottom of the door. And... and those lines are really what holds the door together. It adds more support in it. So in case you get in a wreck, if you got those lines, you'll be safer. It'll be a little stronger than not having them, but I'm getting off talk of it. Uh, no, I was just never really a fan of them, but I like the motors. If you tune and delete these things, they can do quite a bit. Interiors are pretty nice on them. Uh, but it's just not for me. It might be for someone else, but I got to say nope. Uh, let's get on the Mustang. Every teenage white girl wants a Mustang. They just want to go fast. My mom has a Mustang, and it's pretty nice. But if I was to get one, I'd get the the Shelby GT350, just because why not? Or an older older 67 Mustang, because if I'm going to have a car, I'm going to want it to go fast. I don't want to have a little old grocery getter that will get me to point A to point B, and here, there, gone. So... I mean, the new 2020 Shelby's, they are sweet. And they kind of got, yeah. They kind of did what the Chevy's did on the front of the fenders on their new trucks. It kind of looks like a big old E. But I mean, the Fords did that too, so, I mean, anything one person does, the other has to do. But, I mean,. I can't say nope to these cars. I mean, they're fast. You might have stuff go wrong with them, but you'll have stuff go wrong with every vehicle. And I'm just going to have to rate it a dope. Let's get on the Corvette. Okay, the Corvettes. I love a Corvette. Who doesn't want a Corvette? Um, I just think they look sweet. They're nice. And fast. If I was getting when I get a C6. Uh, I just like them. I'd probably put Lambo doors on it. Just because why not? I mean, if you live out in BFE, I wouldn't really get one because you're going to hit a pothole everywhere and tear out the whole rear undercarriage of your car. But other than that, I'd rate it a dope. Okay. Let's get on the Dodge Viper. Stock, these cars look hideous. I mean, it's got the long hood, small cab, small bumper, or small uh, tail, shoot, small trunk. But I mean, if you do mods on these cars, they'll look pretty sweet. Um, I am looking at a wide body right now, and... It's honestly pretty nice, but the stock, I wouldn't get it. I haven't really seen, I don't even think I've seen one of these in person. But just going off the looks, I'm going to have to go nope. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the front end. Okay, let's get on the Dodge Challenger. If you get one of these in a Hellcat or, or a Demon, girls beg you to ride in your car. But 
I like the newer ones, the 2021s. I just think Dodge needs to do something a little different because they've had the same body style for I don't know how many years. I mean, these cars even look good stock, but I know everybody, that's probably not even anyone that's listening to this, but everybody, if they see those taillights, they're going to stomp on their brakes. Oh... Well, maybe not the challengers, the chargers they will though. But I'm gonna have to go with dope on these cars. They're fast. If you put a supercharger on one, turbo it. Yeah, it's gonna be fast. Okay, let's finish it off with a Ford GT three fifty. Or just the GT. Okay, this car. I like it. They kind of put it doesn't have a long hood like the Viper did or a small trunk. It, they kind of evened it out. They put it right in the middle. I mean, these cars are just sweet in general. There's, it, and expensive. I wouldn't want to pay for one unless someone gave it to me. I mean, They just look aggressive. They look fast. The only thing I'd have to say no to is I don't like the mirrors. I mean, yeah, I get it. They have to stick out their ways to get past the fenders but because the cab shoots in, but I just don't like them. Not a fan of them. And so it looks like it's about it. I'm going to have to go with Dope on this one. And that will conclude our podcast of Dope or Nope, Episode 2. Um, stay tuned for next week's podcast, episode three. I'll see you then.